Hallelujah! Good morning and welcome to another glorious edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Hallelujah! Today is March the 19th and our men of God would like to share a message entitled Have the Consciousness of the God Life. Our opening theme verse is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 24, and I read, And the inhabitant shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. I got a hold of the message of eternal life early in life, believed it, and went on to preach and teach how to live this life to the full, above sickness, disease, and infirmities. At those early stages, I could still be rushed to the hospital, sick. On a certain occasion, I spent about 10 days in the hospital, but I refused to give up because of the truth of this message. I believe in the life of Christ in me and the supremacy and superiority of the life over Satan, disease, infirmity, and death. Therefore, I maintained my confession of the divine life in me and Satan was never going to get me to change my testimony. The apostle writing to the church said, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. Hallelujah. That's from the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 13. Why did he emphasize eternal life as our present day reality? Why is it so important that we have and live with the consciousness that we have the God life now? It is because of the impact and implication of that God life in and for the one who has it. No disease or infirmity should thrive in your body because you have eternal life. No matter how you feel, maintain your confession. Declare, I have eternal life. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I refuse to accommodate any kind of pain, sickness, disease or infirmity. I am impregnable to sickness. Eternal life works in me. Every so often, affirm these words and stand your ground. Soon enough, whatever it is, be it a cancerous growth, diabetes, a terminal ailment, whatever, it will pass out of your body. This is the effect of eternal life in you. Years have come and gone. I've basked in divine health. Eternal life is at work in me, in every fiber of my being, in every cell of my blood, and in every bone of my body. Hallelujah! It is our calling, right and heritage to live transcendently above sickness, disease, and infirmity because divine life works in us. I found this not only to be true in the written word, it is also true in my spirit, soul, and body. Have the same consciousness. Hallelujah! Now, my brothers and sisters, kindly raise your hand and take this confession right after me. Eternal life is at work in me. I refuse to accept disease and infections in my body. I am superior to Satan and the elements of this world. I take charge and rule over my body with the word of God and I refuse to yield to sickness disease and infirmity hallelujah now for you to understand this topic even deeper i highly recommend that you take some time to study these following scriptures from the book of first timothy chapter 6 verse 12 the book of first john chapter 1 verse 2 and the book of first john chapter 5 verses 11 to 12 preferably from the msg glory be to god you know what to do Share this beautiful gospel to your world and tune in again tomorrow for another beautiful edition of Rhapsody of Realities by our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ 
is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.